So I'm thinking about international money transactions and why it means anything when one country buys something from another country. How does Nigeria, for example, buy a hundred cars from Britain? What has to happen for the payment to mean anything? It seems to be just a case of numbers on the computer screen changing in Nigeria and in Britain. And then suddenly Nigeria can receive a hundred cars from Britain. It doesn't make sense to me why that means anything. So what has happened when Nigeria buys something from Britain? It doesn't make sense to me what, what has actually happened when one country buys something from another country. Why does that money transfer and transaction, what does it mean anything?